Egyptian Mao Cat vs. American Shorthair Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Whether the Mao is a product of thousands of years of Egyptian culture is a matter of debate, but if fanciers of the strikingly spotted cats wish to claim that they date to the times of the pharaohs, well, who knows? It could be true. The Egyptian Mao is notable for being the only naturally spotted domesticated cat. In other words, the spotting pattern was not created by the human manipulation of feline genes. The cats were known in Europe before World War II, but the devastation of the war left the breed in a perilous state. The breed was recognized in 1968 by the Cat Fanciers Federation, followed in 1977 by the Cat Fanciers Association. They aren't listed on the manifest, but cats were undoubtedly among the passengers and crew that disembarked from the Mayflower when it arrived at Plymouth, Massachusetts, in 1620. Their writing abilities made cats valued members of ships' crews, and they may well have made their way to the New World even earlier, on ships that carried settlers to the Jamestown colony in Virginia, Spanish explorers to Florida, and Vikings to Newfoundland. Some of the descendants of those seafaring cats, known prosaically as shorthairs, or domestic shorthairs, became what we know today as American shorthairs. Cats were valued on land as well as at sea. Farmers, shopkeepers, and householders all needed a good cat to protect their stores of food from mice, rats, and other vermin. You can tell when the Egyptian Mao is pleased. He chortles in a low, cheerful voice, swishes his tail quickly, and kneads with his front paws. Being with his family, to whom he is deeply loyal, or displaying his hunting skills by following and retrieving a flung toy or stalking and pouncing on a wiggling bait at the end of a fishing pole toy, makes him happy. This is a moderately to the highly active cat. He likes to jump and climb and will appreciate a tall cat tree, a window perch or two, and a sturdy scratching post that allows him to stretch out to full height. The Mao also enjoys playing in water. Don't be surprised to find him dipping a paw into your koi pond or aquarium, turning on the tap in the bathroom or kitchen, or splashing water out of your pool, or his water dish. The Egyptian Mao prefers family members to anyone else. When he's not playing fetch, he enjoys sitting in a lap and being worshipped, just as his ancestors may have been. The Mao has the distinction of being the fastest domestic house cat, as she can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The versatile and good-natured American shorthair preserves his hunting skills, but he is more likely to be a family friend, a position he excels at. He has a balanced disposition, being quiet yet not drowsy. The American shorthair is a fairly energetic cat that likes playing just as much as the next cat, but he is not excessively demanding of attention or action. As befits a working-class cat who has made good, he is smart and enjoys playing with puzzle toys and interactive toys. He has a sociable nature and isn't the type to hide under the bed when visitors arrive. This is a placid cat but one that doesn't especially like being carried around. Let him stand on his own four feet. He may or may not be a lap cat, but he will always appreciate having a spot next to you on the sofa or at the end of the bed. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Egyptian mouse coat is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. The American shorthair's coat is easily cared for by combing or brushing it a couple of times a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The thickness of the cat's coat and the amount it sheds vary based on climate and time of year. American shorthairs like their meals, so they can easily become overweight. To prevent obesity, measure their food instead of free feeding them. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, Wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping them indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Mao's most striking characteristic is his spotted coat in silver, bronze, or smoke, 
closely followed by his large gooseberry green eyes. He is a medium-sized cat with a muscular body and a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with medium-sized to large ears. With hind legs slightly longer than the front legs, he gives the appearance of standing on tiptoe on his small, dainty feet. A medium long tail is thick at the base, tapering slightly at the end. The medium length coat has a silky, fine texture in the smoke coloration and a dense, resilient texture in the silver and bronze colors. The body is covered randomly with distinct spots that can be small or large, and round, oblong, or other shapes. The forehead bears an M shape, the cheeks are adorned with mascara lines, and the tail is banded, ending with a dark tip. On the pale belly are dark spots that resemble vest buttons. In addition to the silver, bronze and smoke colors, mouse can come in solid black, blue silver, blue spotted, a dilute version of bronze, blue smoke and solid blue, but these colors are not permitted in the show ring. These cats of a different color make fine pets, however, sharing all the other characteristics of the Mao. The American Shorthair has the body of a working cat, stocky, muscular and strong. His build gives him the agility and endurance he needs as a first-rate stalker, and heavily muscled legs make him capable of pouncing, jumping, and climbing to get his furred or feathered prey. This is a medium-sized to large cat, slightly longer than he is tall. A large head with a full-cheeked face gives the American Shorthair a sweet, open expression. He has medium-sized ears that are slightly rounded at the tips and large, wide eyes. A short, thick coat comes in a large assortment of colors and patterns, solid, tabby, calico, tortoiseshell, bicolor, particolor and more. The silver classic tabby pattern is probably the most popular of them all. The active and playful Mao is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter, however, and pet birds or other small animals are probably not safe in his presence. The laid-back but playful American Shorthair is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He will get along fine with dogs if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter but may learn to leave pet birds or other small animals alone if he is introduced to them at an early age. When in doubt, however, separation is best. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.